Go back to John chapter 14. Anyway, there will be Holy Spirit conference this year, and I, I need to find time to teach you on the anointing of porn because you you when you get a product, usually they give you a manual so you can understand the operating system and how to. Knowledge is the stability of the times. Show me verse 18. Then I actually want to go to the end of the scripture. So when the spirit within comes, he said, I will come to you. I will not leave you comfortless. Jesus said, it's me again coming to you, but in the person of the Holy Spirit. Anyway, Go to the ending, like verse 24. Uh, he that loveth me not, keepeth not my saying, and the word, the word which you hear is not mine, but the Father which sent me. Okay, but the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send him, and watch, watch now. The Comforter is a person, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. It's a person. Keep remind, reminding yourself, it's a person. It's not power. Okay, this comforter, the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. Do you see one of the functions of the anointing within? Revelation. He shall bring to your remembrance whatsoever I have taught you. Like this coming and finishes. It's not over yet. The Holy Spirit is going to be bringing, sometimes will bring one section where Pastor David is talking. He will bring where the, Dr. Follin is talking. He will bring some whatever. And, and, but, if this is not happening, it means that the water is not flowing. Because one of the rivers that flow from within is the river of revelation. One of the rivers that flow from within is the river of worship. Ladies and gentlemen, especially those of you in the music ministry, if you have to come, they have to walk you up, walk you up. You know those generators, you pull it, you pull it again. You pull it, you pull, 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 pull. Then you open, check this, check this, you pull again. Finally, it's now start doing quick, 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 quick. You know? You, something, your, your personal Christian life is not in order. When you carry the water within, there will be music in your soul. It's like me. I go to bed all night. I sing all through the night. I wake up to ease myself, maybe three or something. There is music coming out of Because the Holy Spirit is a very fiery scene. I need to show you this. that Service will soon end. Worship will dry up again. No! Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18. You need to see it so we can come back to John 14 verse 18. Ephesians 5, verse 18. Be not drunk with wine, wherein in excess, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be filled. Okay, maintain a spirit-filled life. You know, I, the other day I was showing that the blood cleansed life and covered life, and the spirit-filled life is the greatest defense against all the onslaught of the enemy in the last days. Maintaining a spirit-filled life is one of God's greatest defense strategies. The end-time church must rediscover Yes. Don't get drunk. Be filled with the spirit. Then what is the next thing? Music will start flowing from inside you. Worship. Yes, verse, verse 19. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. And verse 20. Giving thanks always for all things to the Lord, the Father, in the name of our Lord. So, thanksgiving, your heart will always be full of gratitude. You don't have time for complaining and murmuring. Even in the midst of trials, you will always be grateful. Okay, the car hits whatever. Thank God nobody died. I didn't kill somebody and me too. I came out on hot. But another person will be murmuring. Look at the dent on my car. God, where are you? Shut up and thank him that you came out alive. If you're on the other side, is that where you'll be asking him, where are you? Spirit free, you will be filled with gratitude, filled with thanksgiving. There will always be song in your spirit. So this helps you to know if you are filled with the spirit or not, if you are maintaining that inner life or not. One of the, the rivers that flow there is moral restraint 
virtue, the river of moral virtues. You are not struggling to walk in righteousness. You're not struggling. Actually, once temptation is becoming more powerful than your Christian life, your devotional life has gone down. Can I say it again? Once the lure and the pool of this world is becoming unbearable, you're not able to overcome it anymore. It's now, oh God, if nothing happens, I will fall into this. No, 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 no. You have been away from the secret place for too long. You have stopped feeding on the world. You have stopped. There is even one of the tests to know when oil has gone down in your engine. Your hunger for Jesus. Your hunger for the word. You, that test to be in his presence. As they dare pants for the water. So pants my soul after you. You don't have it anymore. You don't read the Bible. You know. Go back to the filling station and refuel. I am in love with Jesus. With what he did for me on the cross. My appreciation and value of that, I don't know how to explain it to you. And that's what drives my service and what I do for him. Romans chapter 14 says that the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. But is righteousness, peace, and joy. Where? In the Holy Ghost. These are the things. Righteousness is one of the things. Moral virtues. Joy, of course, is one of them. Peace. Peace that passeth all understanding. And dark. That peace is an umpire. A referee. It's, it helps me to know when I'm going into something wrong. This guy is proposing to me, should I marry him? Every time I think of, I lose my peace. You are about to go into danger. I want to make this trip. They are calling on me, come for this program, and I have three invitations. Which one should I go? Each time I want to say this one, I lose my peace. I lose. There is that in a, is a warning. But this, oh, this one, the church is just a handful of people. But whenever I talk, oh, there is this joy and peace and serenity. God wants me there. It's part of the tool for knowing God's will. He said, be anxious for nothing. In everything, through prayer and supplication, let your needs be, you know, be made known to God. And the peace of God. You see what happens with your devotional life, your prayer life, your worship, and the peace of God that passes all understanding will flood your heart and protect your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. It's one of the rivers that flow from within. When I lose my peace, it's a sign of warning. There's something that it's either God is not happy with certain steps I'm taking or the Holy Spirit is a person. As long as he lives in you, when he's grieved, your spirit man picks it up and you get grieved. As a, a minister now, for example, ministering to people, I can finish. Everybody's clapping for me. Wow. The person I check his commendation is inside me. He gives me that blessed assurance, that whatever, I'm happy. Because you can be clapping for the man and God is very angry. And you know, there's something about the anointing of porn is that you can strike the rock, water will come, a miracle will happen. Meanwhile, God is about to kill you, Moses. It doesn't mean that God is happy. It just means he's trying to glorify his name. I know when the Lord is angry with me inside me. I know when he's happy with me inside me. It's like this week. I know I'm going to be paid so much because he helped us to execute his counsel. There's something called divine administration. It does not start from it. It starts from Inquire, finding out, and that's what I do. You see this kind of program? That's why you notice I don't like too much whatever form. I don't because I understand that the head of the church is there. And it is in his presence. I come, 
he reorganizes. He said, no, no, no. You know, I wanted Abuja to continue for seven days, eight days. I woke up early in the morning. I was now spending time with him, thanking him and all that, telling him all the other plans we have for the Abuja. He said, shut it down and head to Enugu. I said, no, no, I will go to Enugu, but let it just continue. He said, shut it down. Don't you know what shut down means? Close the meeting. I said, but I have announced to the people. He said, what you announce is inconsequential. You didn't consult me before you made the announcement. If you let the program continue, that one is your program. But my program continues. I say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I went to the pulpit where I said that whatever and corrected myself by myself. I have always begged the Lord, whenever I miss it, help me to correct it. I don't want to die and somebody is following my mistake. If you want to clap, clap well. Oh. And I told him, give me that grace. Never to be ashamed to acknowledge the mistake. And I do it. I do it even in the public. I don't care. If I am the man inside and the man up is happy with me, I'm fine. Very fine. Because the man that has come inside me lets me know what is going on in the heart of the one sitting on the throne. Is his spirit. That he's coming to dwell me is how God now lives in me. So I don't depend on just water coming out of the rock. I check if we are still in line, still under divine alignment. And once that is it, there is not enough demons or challenges that can take us out. He said how God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost. Show it again, 10, Acts 10, 38, and with power. He had the two who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. But there is the last line. For God is with him. For God is with him. When you have that inner life, you will always have the blessed presence of the almighty God and his backing and his protection because the safest place to be is in the center of God's will. Oh, okay. Let me show you a few more things. Actually, my time is up. When Paul asked us, he taught the Ephesian church and the rest of us by extension in Ephesians chapter 1 to pray that the eyes of your understanding may be enlightened. Eh? So, starting revelation will flow that you might know the hope of your calling. You might know the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe. According to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead. I want to introduce another power that is not power upon. It's power within. When the Holy Spirit comes, there is impartation of inner might, inner strength. That's what keeps me going. I'm not talking about dunamis for ministry. I'm talking about you may be filled with might by his spirit in your inward man. Put it up, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 15. You are carrying God and his capacities. His abilities. Let's start from 15. Okay, he's talking about our Heavenly Father. Shall I start from 14? But I think this is all right. Of whom the whole family, that's our Heavenly Father. Of whom the whole family in, in heaven and on earth is named. So part of family members are already in heaven. Other ones are here. We, you know, us and Peter and Co, we belong to the same family. Some of them have gone to heaven. Some are still here, but there will be a reunion. Okay, verse 16. That he will grant you, according to the riches of his glory, 
to be strengthened with might by his spirit. Where? Where? So when you see a lot of Christians that are weak, powerless, it's the only when there is anointing upon that discharges that we can be strong. No. There is inner strength that God gave a Christian by the indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit. Might by his spirit in the inward man. Verse 17. That Christ may dwell in your heart by faith. This is another river that flows from within. The river of faith and boldness. Oh, Dr. Fuller. It's only when spirit comes upon me, I become bold. Other times I'm a coward. No, that's not how Christianity works. It's a God has not given us the spirit of timidity or fear. But of power, that's the do not, of love. One of the rivers that flow there is love. And of a sound mind. Write it. The, one of the rivers is the river of wisdom. This is different from word of wisdom, which is a gift of the spirit. Like I said, one of the rivers is the river of faith. And this is different from the gift of faith, which comes and lifts. Next time, you have... This one is not gift of faith. This one is spirit of faith. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. We, having the same spirit of faith, the same one Jesus had, the same one Peter and Paul and the rest of them had, we, having the same spirit of faith, as it is written, I believe, therefore have I spoken. We also believe, therefore we speak. That's why we have this boldness, this confidence, this audacity in God. It's from within. Do you know that courage is a character quality, not a miracle power? Do you know that when there are certain challenges to be able to stand for your conviction, even in the face of contrary, and it sometimes, sometimes you are alone, it takes courage to obey God. God told Joshua, be bold and very courageous that you may be careful to do according to all that Moses, my servant, has commanded. Don't depart from it to the left or to the right. Have I not commanded you? Be of good courage. So Jesus sometimes will say things like that to us. He said, in the world you will have tribulation. Be of good chairs. I have overcome the world. That they are contrary, they are persecution, does not change your conviction. You have strength within And you have moral stamina. You don't waver at every wind that blows. There's a spirit of faith. Apostle, this is a secret the Lord taught me. And it's this Holy Spirit that is the greatest teacher. When you spend time with him and your Bible, he is the one that wrote the Bible. He now starts making it to come alive. And that's what every believer needs. It's, it's a blessing to come and listen to pastors, get all of this. But the real life of a Christian is a life within that flows without. A Christian that flows from inside out, not from outside in. Do you know what he told me? He said, you carry the spirit of faith. I can bear you witness that you carry it. But watch, any time is replaced with fear. You're no more sure. You're watching your back. You're watching your shadow. You have drifted off. Two things. It's either you have drifted away from my presence or you have started doing something wrong. Or you are about to. And then fear comes. What is the first thing that struck Adam after they did the wrong thing? And we heard the Lord God walking in the garden. I was afraid. Because this inner 
life, operations of the Holy Spirit, makes you operate like Adam in those days. You hear the Lord walking, you are glad to run. I am glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. You can't get enough. You know like when you are in love with a young woman, you can't get enough. You just finish talking. I remember I fell in love. Not, not Pastor Sarah, but I fell in love before. Yeah, the girl, the girl broke my heart. Because we are in the medical school, but she continued. I left the medical school and some things happened. But she's a good girl. And even that, she's still a good girl. Because it would take faith to trust that bro with nothing. There was nothing. No comeliness or any beauty that any should desire him. So she saw a senior medical guy. Because when I left, I was now in another campus, the same school, but in two different cities. And she was in the city where the medical school was. And this guy is always there, you know. But me, I was still deeply in love. Oh, I love this girl. Oh. Her father was one time commissioner of health, you know. So all those vehicles, when it's time to go to school, they'll finish loading her with a driver. She would take the driver branch to my house since we didn't have car to take me. And then my loads will enter and we'll be at the back. We're going to school. When it's time to return, the car will come to pick her. It's the day she's going, I'm going. If I come for fellowship, the first, first person, I'm, I'm sorry to confess, that the first thing I want to say, I didn't even check if Jesus showed up or Holy Spirit. Once I see her, her the anointing is here. The anointing, anointing is working. <laughs> It, it, this thing is serious. Oh. One Christmas, the part of the country where I come from, everybody goes home for Christmas. We're in the city. We've returned from school. We're on a holiday. Her family is going. She refused to go with them. But that was when they discovered the guy that was... They now had to check me out. Yeah, he's very intelligent. He does well academically, but what is his pedigree? They tried to stop the girl, will not agree. She let the whole family go for Christmas, stayed back in town. They had a very big, beautiful house. And then my people were going. I told them that they can go, that there is something I forgot that I will come the next day. They didn't. So they all left for Christmas. I didn't show up till after Christmas. Even now, it surprises me that in those days, we could be in love with sisters like that. And you are not thinking about sleeping with her. It doesn't. What is this thing that has come upon the modern church now? If I introduce her, she would tell you with all this number of years that she went into her next relationship still a virgin. What is this new madness? The inner life. The inner life. The inner life. Then combine with the power upon. Then we have apostolic Christianity again. You can't get enough. Now, now we are here, now in town. Her friend will come with her to visit me. Uh, yeah, we know. And then when it's time, I will escort her with feet. We are trekking her. We we'll take driver go. Because we need to gist. We we'll take Jerry. And they live in the Jerry, but on the other end. We we'll walk, walk, walk. We we'll reach her. And I'll say bye-bye. Okay, you know. Go now. She will follow me again. And will walk, 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 get near my house. I said, ah, how did you just get back here? But I was the one who were adjusted. I said, no, 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 I can't just leave you to go like that. Let me escort you back. 
What is this one? You wake up on Sunday, you don't feel like going to church. You wake up and we don't feel like talking to anybody. You don't feel like greeting Jesus. Not even good morning, Lord. You feel like whatever. What, what kind of... What? That type of Christianity is alien to the Bible. As they dare pant for the water, so my soul pant after you. Go back to that John chapter 14. There is something beautiful I need to show you. I think, uh, go back to verse 26. We'll pick. Okay. He shall teach you all things. Bring to you. Remember verse 27? 27. Peace. I live with you. This coming, inner coming of the Holy Spirit will bring peace. Peace. Why the world is going upside down? My peace, I live with you. Peace, I give unto you. Not as the word given, give I unto you. So let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Things are happening. You see what is going on. But you, inside you, there's serenity. It's an inner knowing. You know, one of the rivers that flow for within is counsel, direction, guidance. I need to know what to do. It's there. Maybe I should summarize it for you this way. Dr. Fednan, you have heard about the seven spirits of God, Isaiah chapter 11 and all of that. So I asked the Lord, where are they? Are they part of spirit or porn or spirit within? So he now asks me, Spirit of porn is a gift that comes and go. Your eyes, are they gifts that stay with you? Are they gifts like phone that can go? I said, my eyes are organs of my body. He said, those seven spirits are seven eyes of the lamb. And when it comes into you, they become your own eyes. You see through. He said, in heaven, that's how I'm able to know everything that's happening on earth. Before the throne of God, there are seven lamps burning. You talk about divination and whatever. That's how God sees. Apart from that, he has eyes. You know, these living creatures that see all. That's how he sees everything. Because the Holy Spirit monitors everything going on on earth. Not even a hair falls from somebody without him knowing. Not even a leaf falls from a tree without him knowing. Not even a baby cry in the night without him knowing. Not, not even a bed Even the sparrows. Even a small bed that dies without him knowing. He knows the number of your hair. When your head starts falling, he knows how many fell, how many, and you that has the head don't know. He knows all. There is nothing. Before you are thinking something, not until you say it, he has picked it up. That's why when your worship is fake, God knows that these people are worshiping me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. The Holy Spirit monitors everything, and that's what gives God that level of capacity he has to be all-knowing. So he now said to me, the seven spirit rests in the human spirit. It is spirit within. I said, Lord, I need proof. He said, okay. The tabernacle that Moses built. The seven candles, which are the symbolic of the seven spirit. Are they on top of the tabernacle or inside the tabernacle? I said, they are inside. He said, so. Jesus as a lamb has them as his seven eyes. The Old Testament was prophesying about him. A rod shall come out of the root of Jesse. Isaiah was writing in chapter 11. And these things will rest on him. Now listen. There are seven inner eyes through which you are supposed to see. Do you know he's supposed to show you things to come? It's supposed to give you revelation. If you read all the operation of the seven spirits, you will see some of the things he's supposed to do inside you. But one of those things that he does inside you is to give you the fear of the Lord. The spirit of the fear of the Lord. And he said he shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. The anointing upon doesn't do it. There are people with that thing. Look at Judas. Who carried it, casted out devil. But he was a thief. And he sold his master. 
and guess finally evil spirit took over him and destroyed him i told you that grace will keep extend but it has a limit So you can have the one upon and be corrupt like Balaam. Prophesy, but greedy. And not only that, it wasn't too long. He started dumbling into sorcery, into divination. Because of money. Dumbled into false doctrine, taught an enemy king how to destroy the children of Israel. Yet he was a man that was so gifted that he sees vision while his eyes are open. But was so corrupt at the same time. Please, bow down your heads and pray for a, a minute. Tell God, maybe there are things to repent of. Maybe there are things to correct. I have never seen a quieter come meeting than this session. Everywhere is quiet. And those of you watching from around the world, you can drop a pin and hear it. Play that keyboard. The Spirit of the Lord. Breaks the yoke of bondage. The Spirit of the Lord says the captives free. The Spirit of the Lord brings rivers to your desert. That anointing is falling on you and you. That anointing is falling on you. The Spirit of the Lord breaks the yoke of bondage. The Spirit of the Lord says the captive is free. The Spirit of the Lord brings rivers to your desert. That anointing is raining on you and you. That anointing is raining on you I will love to tell you what I think of Jesus since I found in him a friend so strong and true I will tell you how he changed my life completely he did something no other friend could do no one ever cares for me like Jesus there is no friend anywhere so kind as he no one else could take my sin and darkness from you oh how much he cares for me. No one ever cares for you like Jesus. There is no other friend so kind as he. No one else could take your sins and your darkness from you. Oh, how much he cares for you. If you believe, you will receive a fresh infilling for your body and your soul. If you believe, you will receive a fresh impartation for your body and your soul and because he touched me i can now touch you in the name of him who's come to make you whole if you believe 
the glory of God is here. And because he touched me, I can now touch you. In the name of him who has come to make you whole. <laughs> if you believe, you can receive a fresh anointing for your body and your soul. Join me and sing it. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. All things are possible, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe, all things are possible, Lord, I believe, tell him that you receive, Lord, I receive. Lord, I receive all these apples. Lord, I receive. Lord, I receive. Oh, Lord, I receive all these apples. Oh, Lord, I receive. Lord, I believe. Oh Lord, I believe. All things are possible. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Oh Lord, I believe. All things are possible. 